when I say acrylics, gels, dips, paraffin, wraps, what am I referring to? The world of nails and fake nails. There are so many different options out there to try. And with salons being closed, Shona is putting them to the test to see how they measure up, not only in looks, but in the application process as well. And Shones, you're like me. So getting your nails done was a way of life before COVID, right? Totally. One of my favorite beauty things is having my nails done. But getting them done, yeah. But I often found that I was just so busy that I, oh, pre-COVID, like in just life in general, that I often did my manicures at home. And I've pretty much tried all of these before. So, uh, but nails were, yes, very important to me. That's why we thought you would be the perfect person to test this stuff. So what did you test for us? It's important to work clean. We go to nail salons and expect sanitary processes, things clean. It's really important. There's a risk when it comes to getting manicures, especially these ones that stay in your nails for a really long time, for bacteria. So you want to make sure that you are washing your hands before you start. You want them to be 100% dry, no moisture on your nail bed at all. So, at all. That's for sanitary, but that's also for the application. It'll help your nail last longer. I advise that you swipe your nail with a lint-free type cloth. Most paper towels will be good enough. And a little bit of rubbing alcohol, you want to wipe every single one to make sure if there's any remnants of moisturizer or soap residue or something that's off the nails, but it also helps sanitize it. Now, when it comes to the nails, let's start with the gel manicure. A lot of people know gel manicure is like shellac nails, the salons, a lot of the debts a brand that they use. That, that's an actual brand name. So gel manicure systems are sold. There's a ton of systems out there. I've got both of the ones I'm going to talk to here off of Amazon. And, you know, I'm a Prime member, so they came in like a day or two. Um, and so what you want to make sure you have with this system is the UV light. So what is a gel manicure? It's special nail polish that cures underneath a UV light. So you can't use just any nail polish. You want to use the very special one. And there are some nail polishes on the market now that are called gel polishes that don't need a UV light. It's not the same thing. They're talking about their consistency and hopefully their longevity. If you want a real proper one, you need the UV light uh, to cure the polish, and then you need the nail polish system. So I advise anybody who's starting off in this, get a kit. All of the tools, the nail files, even a bunch of little gems to add to the top of your nails came in all this one kit. Um, so that's the pros of this system is there's a variety of colors and it's long lasting for most people. My experience though, I have very soft nails and nail polish, I don't even get 20, 24 to 48 hours if I'm lucky. So gel manicure only lasts whether uh, about five days for me, whether it's a salon or my mm -hmm. DIY. I didn't find a big difference in that. So uh, so that's the pros. There's a couple of cons you should be aware of. Um, it does ruin your nail bed because you have to file down the top of your nail to get it to last that long. So over a long period of time, that's going to um, hurt your nail bed. You do need a lot of tools. You need the light, you need all the tools. So there's some setup cost, you know, when it's coming to that. Some people are not thrilled about the UV light exposure. It's a deal breaker for some people, so it's something for you to consider if, if that concerns you. Um, but that's pretty much it with the cons. It looks fabulous. You've had gel manicures before, right, Tracy? Oh my gosh, for so many years, Shones. And finally, COVID came around and yeah. I had to yeah. fix my nails. I had to start from scratch. So these are my real suckers right here. Nothing on them, plain, plain Jane. Now, City Line staffer JC tried out a gel nail kit, and here's what she had to say. If you're just starting out, it's a little more challenging, but it definitely does give you that salon feeling. One thing though, read all the instructions. Even the tips, they're generally at the end of the instructions, but they'll tell you um, any tips and tricks that you need for a great finish. I love that we got JC uh, to test a kit because her nails when we were all in studio together were always on point. I would look at her nail color and then I would copy the color when I went to my, uh, you know, nail place on the weekend because I'm a little sister and I have no other way how to operate. So uh, she, her nails look great. She did a great job. What do you have next for us, Shones? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is dip, the powder dip or dip nails. It's probably one of the more newer type systems and they've got that, the at-home ones available now. Um, and what it is, it's a very fine ground pigmented color at, that is usually made predominantly of acrylic. So in olden days, you know, we used to do the acrylic nails. It's pretty much the same thing. 
It's super easy to use. There's no UV light when it comes to this one. It just dries. If you can paint your nails, you can do this. You just put on, you know, a base coat and you literally dip your finger into the powder and pull it out and then do it again and do it a third time if you want a really deep color. Uh, and it, it's, it's, it's easy. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I was new to doing this one myself. I've had it done at the salon, but doing it myself. And I think there's a bit of a learning curve to this one. I did it and my nails were a little bit lumpy, mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't give it an, an absolute no-go. I'm just going to tell somebody to be patient with themselves. Do it as a hobby to start, learn, get the technique done, how to get it nice and thin and smooth. Although the cons about this one is that it does ruin your nail as well. You do have to file down your nail. Um, and then you also, for both of these systems, you have to soak them off by putting, soaking your nails in acetone. And uh, that, that lends to, it's time consuming. I find the soaking off can take as long as doing your nails, sometimes longer. And that will also add to the deterioration of your natural nail, which is temporary. Your nails will grow back healthy. It just takes months <laughs> to do it. <laughs> It takes so much longer than I ever expected because I've had gels on for so many years. Shones, thank you so much.